I accepted some lady's Facebook request and she messaged me how she forgives me for having adult fun time with her husband. Which I did, it's true, but in my defense we were 17 at the time and they hadn't met yet so I had reason to believe it would never ever come up again. Anyway, how are y'all doing? <laughs> oh my god! What? Ah! <laughs> oh goodness! If you're still jealous about things that happen in high school... <laughs> What's up my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving back into r slash are the straight... Are, are, are the straights okay? <laughs> And as your ambassador of all straight people, I've decided to dive into it yet again because it's... Oh, it's well worth the migraines afterwards. <laughs> it's a collection of stories about how the, uh, how the straights are just not okay. <laughs> all right, let's get started. My son has this friend at daycare named Riley, and she... Oh my god, he has a girlfriend! Well, uh, you see, he's two, and she is also two. <laughs> They're kids. Let them be kids. <laughs> More like, oh my god, he has a friend. Like, let's start small steps, huh? Let's set our expectations realistically. <laughs> when you get your hair done and all he notices is the money missing from his wallet. <gasps> oh, but I'm beautiful. How dare you? <laughs> Just pay for it with your own money. <laughs> what? Careful, my husband is suspecting us. Suspecting what? Do I even know you? I'm her husband. You are out of my suspects list. What the heck? What? I'm sorry, my husband was using my cell phone to test you. Luckily, you haven't said anything. What could I say? I, I don't even know you. This is still her husband. I wanted to confirm. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Maybe just maybe just trust your partner, and then you won't need to test them. I think persistently testing someone would push them towards cheating, rather than push them towards being faithful, you know? <laughs> you may have worn the prom dress with him, but I get to wear the wedding dress. You had him in high school, but I get him for the rest of my life, Becky! So back off, Becky! Ugh! <laughs> oh god! High school! Why high school? Why is that such a thing? Just let it go! Move on! You're entirely different people now. There's no way you're the same person that you were in high- well... <laughs> oh my god. I've cracked the code. All the people that are here that are not okay are the same people they were in high school. I've figured it out! Oh my god! <laughs> Your logic belongs in a museum. <laughs> Help! I'm straight and I can't shut up! <laughs> uh, on the daily, I guess. <laughs> my grandchildren are still in my selfish daughter's ovaries. This is what I'd like to have a little one, a little one, and then an even smaller one. I also like Star War. <laughs> uh, I appreciate OP's censorship of the license plate. Thank you, fam. <laughs> is this an internal joke? Karen, in this economy, <laughs> let's be real. Three kids? <laughs> Come on. I'm not racist, but same-sex marriage should be between a man and a woman. <laughs> hashtag pro-Christian, hashtag unpopular opinion, hashtag love, hashtag not racist, hashtag- I'm not racist, but same-sex marriage should be between a man and a woman. What? <laughs> my girlfriend yelled at me for liking your photos, and I would really like to keep my relationship, so I'm going to have to respectfully let you know that you are not even very attractive at all, and I will be unfollowing now, thank you. Please consider wearing more clothes so other people's boyfriends won't feel like they have to like your pictures. The pictures you post are inconsiderate and unfair to people in relationships. <laughs> unfollowing now. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a post from someone under the gun. <laughs> this is okay. My partner's looking over my shoulder. What do I think that they want me to say? <laughs> oh, this is such a silly. I mean, the obvious. Yeah, but no. eat off his plate on the first date to establish dominance. Mm. Leave her with the bill to establish consequences. Mm. <sighs> Just split things. What do you mean, to establish dump? Just, I mean, if you want to share food, that's fine. Get tapas or something. Share pizza. Get sushi rolls and then share off each other's plates. Don't leave anyone with the bill. Just split it. <laughs> Normalize splitting first dates, please. <laughs> it's so expensive. Support gay marriage. <laughs> Liberalism opens the door to just really well done hand drawings it seems. Wow! Why is the insect so big? Because liberalism opened the door. 
<laughs> to what, the Upside Down? Or Australia? <laughs> I have friends who are gay. I just don't support it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Have you seen this TikTok? If not, avoid it. <laughs> avoid it. <laughs> I used to have a coworker who wouldn't let her son play with dolls because it's gay. And bought her daughter a shirt that said, I found my prince and his name is Daddy. And I still think about that. Like, ew, being gay is gross, but a t-shirt suggesting my daughter is taken by her father is totally okay. <laughs> hmm. Would be interesting to know why so many kids are now gay. Even without suppression, when I was a kid, there were maybe one or two in a school. Now there are tons of them. Is it the artificial hormones or what? Someone might want to figure out why this is happening. You know, just to, just to better understand things. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like progress to me. <laughs> I don't know if those artificial hormones are causing progress, but maybe we need more of them. <laughs> Today on the news, an eight-year-old girl and her entire team were banned from a Nebraska soccer tournament because she looks like a boy. Girl can't play, looks like a boy. Girl eight banned from tournament because she looks like a boy. Tournament organizers banned. Oh no. Oh, imagine being so intolerant. They're kids, let them play. Let them play soccer. Boo. Boomers. Yes, these are boomers. <laughs> I'm going to Michael's with Elaine. <gasps> I'm not at all trying to make you feel guilty, but I will say I wish we hung out more. We used to see each other almost every day, and now we are dating. It's literally once a week. <laughs> Have fun with Michael. I don't know who he is, but I'm sure he's a good guy. I hope in the foreseeable future you'll come to my place on a Tuesday. Uh, what? Pink. Oh, what the fudge? <laughs> what is it? What? Oh, I often think about the time my ex thought I was cheating on him with a craft store. She wants to do crafts. Let her paint stuff. Let her put things together. I just... <sighs> when you see attachment four images from your girl, but they're all screenshots of you cheating. <sighs> 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 I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, God. Make America straight again. Uh... Females, <laughs> you shouldn't make fun of plus-sized women. They can't help it. Male is under six feet. Females. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Listen, short kings, as long as your personality is over six feet tall, no one cares. <laughs> or at least so few people actually care. Yeah, there's a lot of profiles on Tinder that you're going to come across that say, Boys, if you're under six foot, don't even bother. You know what you do to fix that problem? You just fudge me. Aggressively swipe left. <laughs> Studies now show that homosexuality is a side effect of what's in childhood vaccinations. Before vaccinations, there were virtually no gay people. Now, after vaccinations, gay people are everywhere. Don't want a gay kid. Don't have them vaccinated. Simple as that. <laughs> I mean, if they can, <laughs> if they get vaccinated and live long enough to realize that they're gay, I mean, you might have a point. <laughs> oh, uh, their life was saved by vaccinations, thus. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Why am I still making this video? I don't know. Hashtag straight people are tired of being ignored. We are tired of people acting like we don't exist. It's time to rise up and start a revolution. Our voices deserve to be heard as much as gay people's voices. Hashtag street lives matter. You know that feeling when you simultaneously suck on a lemon and someone hits the gas in their vehicle and shoots you back in your chair? Yeah, sometimes he's supposed to do that to me. <laughs> I told my boyfriend that he's worthless, so he dumped me and blocked me. Is he being insecure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he dumped you out of insecurity for sure, fam. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not making this post out of insecurity. <laughs> I like his chickens. I like her cats. I don't like any of this. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, I got there. <laughs> okay, first impressions, it's like, all right, they have pets or farm animals or something, and... 
All right, just leave this one out of the video, please. <laughs> I was badly craving Pizza Hut, so I asked my boyfriend if he'd buy it because I was broke. And he said no, because I didn't really need it. So I threatened to report him for domestic violence, and the mofo was on the app straight away. Hashtag free pizza. Mm. Oh. No, no, this is not free pizza. This is more like pizza, but at what cost? <laughs> when the virus might kill you, but your wife would definitely kill you. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Honey, I'm wearing the ring. Oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. No way. No, boo. Uh... It's okay. It's a little awkward cuddling him in boxers. <laughs> oh, why, Lamau? I don't know, because he's a guy. I'm a guy. I don't know. <laughs> he's your dog. I, I thought you were kidding, but he's your dog. Oh my goodness. There's like other deep-seated issues here, aren't there? Oh, oh no. We should we should have... Steven, we should have a talk. Heterophobia is real, though. Haven't you seen how much married straight people hate each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, in these, in these subreddits, maybe. I d <laughs> My boyfriend and I are approaching three years, and after all this time, he has never, ever raised his voice at me, called me names, or disrespected me. And I am his first girlfriend ever. Verbal abuse is so normalized that it took me so long to realize that this is how it should be. Aww. Aww, some straights are doing okay. Oh. So y'all boring, basically. We were so close. <laughs> we, 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 we were, we were just nearly, we're nearly there. We were so close. <laughs> Women should be financially taken care of in a relationship. Your woman shouldn't have to worry about paying a dang thing. If you cannot afford to take care of a woman completely, don't date or pursue a woman until you can. The woman is the prize. Pay for it. It? It? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, you showed your colors right at the end there. <laughs> Pay for it. Oh, goodness. Fam. I don't know. Split the bills. Share things equally. I mean, equal partnership, right? Respect someone by treating them as your equal. <laughs> you remember that episode of Bones when Bones wanted to buy an apartment and her husband was like, oh, yes, we should buy an apartment, but only like one that each of us can equally afford. And even though you're a super successful millionaire author, uh, I'm just a lowly FBI detective who can't afford very much. So let's find something in the middle of our budgets because <laughs> they split things like an equal couple. <laughs> For 600 pounds, we will come to your house dressed as a hazmat team rescue team. Take you away from your wife for a 14 day fishing trip and then return you. Oh, it's quite a good deal, I And not only that, we'll fish with you. We'll be your friends for 14 days. That sounds like a good investment for your lads, eh? How many friends do you have, lad? Oh no, it says great business model. Oh, are you serial? Are you <laughs> Boomers! <laughs> Cheating is a part of ups and downs of a relationship, though. Every man is gonna hurt you. You just gotta find that one worth hurting for. Millions of happy wives have been cheated on and abused but they fought for their marriage to work if you're not willing to fight for love then stay single the lack of self-awareness <laughs> fight for your partnership that's kind of a message i can get behind casually just getting over cheating because it's a part of a relationship uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's my grandpa's birthday next week, and he said, I don't want to be 85. And my grandmother, his wife of 59 and a half years, said, Well, you're all the alternatives today. I can't believe how affectionate they are. I was having lunch with them today, and my grandpa started throwing napkins at my grandmother. And she just balled it up and looked all set to throw it back. But then she put it down and said, I will not throw it because I was brought up properly, and you were dragged. She has spent three quarters of her life with this man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, goodness. Uh. <laughs> what the heck happened here? <laughs> a woman proposing to a man is like you pulling up to your man from home from a home for a date. And he comes out of the house and you get out the car and go around the car and you open the car door for him. And he smiles and giggles and says, oh, thank you, honey. We're blinking his eyes. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't do it. I just don't look right or feel right. I'm 100% on a man showing me chivalry on every possible occasion. I agree with Derek. The mental gymnastics that helped you arrive at this point are phenomenal. <laughs> I... <laughs> if a girl ever picked me up for a date and this for me, I'd be super flattered. What? <laughs> it takes a king to be appreciated being treated like a princess sometimes. <laughs> if 
the doctors of Blue Hospitals. Some of you know, but for those who don't, my mom needs an E transplant. She has been using a, ca ca a, ca a cane from the Bible for two years now and had a fall in September at McDonald's. While ordering her breakfast, we rushed her to the doctor who had her knee x rayed, and with tears in his eyes, he informed us she needed a knee transplant. This is serious surgery. Has cut to the core of our family, and we can't see this family moving forward without her. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, she's not gonna die without knees. We told the doctor that under no situation would we allow the knee of a gay, trans, homo, or lesbian be put in my mom's body. Do you know what the doctor did? He laughed. He told us that there was no way he could ever discriminate between sexual likes when it came to using body parts. Then he lied to us and told us they would use an artificial part. We have declined the surgery. We cannot risk mom getting a body part from a gay lesbian. <laughs> we fudge. We are seeking that Pokemon. Out, of, out the opinion of several other doctors and the advice of our priest. What? Do you, do you might need to exercise the knee. <laughs> what, what does this world come to? This is what this this is one of the ways trans homo and homosexuals are spreading from the knees. We will not be subject to this. If anyone knows a doctor in Blue County, please let us know. Hey Blue, amongst the myriad of things wrong here, I just wanted to say that knee replacements do indeed use artificial parts. My father had both his knees replaced. Your mom will be fine. <laughs> okay, I like the part of Say no to gay knees, lol. This is a joke, right? <laughs> uh, oh, I really hope this is bad humor. I hope this is just satire. Oh no. Oh, we can't end the video here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, one more. One more post to restore faith in humanity. I know we can do it together if we try. Not all country boys are bigots. Happy Pride Month. Oh my god, was this the guy from last year? The one that used duct tape? Oh, oh, this guy's a legend. All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was our dive into r slash are the, are the straights okay? Because are they? I mean, sometimes. Some of them are, and then there's tons of examples of them not being okay. And so, <laughs> It's been fun hanging out with all of you, especially on stream, so definitely check me out on Twitch. I game on there, like, quite often. In fact, I'll probably be up after this video goes up, or at least sometime after. Check my schedule on Twitch. I'll be in there. All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. <laughs> Roll that outro. <laughs> I'm, I can't hit anything. This is this. Just I hate. Aim this. ahead of it. Click. Aim you ahead of it. I'm just gonna, <laughs> click it on. Grab it. Man. All right. There's no shark yet. There's no. You're clear. Oh shark! Shark! Oh. <laughs> there's no shark. Yet. Okay. There was no shark yet. That, that, and then there was I'm one. Sorry for that. I'm sorry for that manly scream. <laughs> um. <laughs>